Hi friends, Ryan the Stranger with the Monday Word and my Monday Word for you is break free from the mind attack. Break free from the mind attack, the mental attack. You know your mind is the center of thought, of reason. In fact, Jesus told us in the book of Proverbs, guard your heart for out of it are flow the issues of life. And that word heart there does not speak of your physical heart, but it speaks of the seed of moral consciousness. And so many times as you're advancing in life, you're moving forward in life, an attack will come against your mind. The Lord Jesus said in Philippians, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. God wouldn't tell us to have the mind of Christ if it was impossible. Do you think the mind of Christ is, is uh, perverted? Do you think the mind of Christ is confused? Do you think the mind of Christ is depressed? No, it's not. Those things can come as an attack. Now, I understand we have emotions and we go through certain things in life and episodes and events. I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking particularly when you are advancing towards what God has for you and suddenly something comes against your mind. One possible culprit here is the spirit of heaviness. Isaiah 61 verse 3 said, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord. So many times Satan is attacking your purpose. When he attacks your mind, he's coming after purpose because he's coming after your decision making. When he attacks your mind, he's coming after your creativity. When you when you are under a mind attack, you can't be a problem solver. You can't be a solution. It's like you're struggling just to keep one foot in front of the other. Another part of the mind attack is discouragement. You suddenly feel discouraged. On Monday, you were fine. Now, Tuesday, you feel like you just can't even function. Well, I just prophesy in the name of Jesus that the Lord goodness is going to be manifest in your life. I declare in the name of Jesus that every weapon formed against you will fall. I render null and void every word of judgment. I render null and void every measure of discouragement in the name of Jesus. And I pray for the mind of Christ that discouragement will be broken off your life. And I hear the Lord say, don't look back. So set your eyes not on the former things, but look ahead, saith the Lord. Look to my promise. Look to my provision. Look to my plan. Do not discount me because your circumstances are adverse, but no, I am the God of provision. I am the God of breakthrough, says the Lord. And God, I declare it over your people. Now, I want to tell you something to break a mind attack. Number one, you've got to do the opposite of what the enemy's telling you. The enemy's telling you, get in bed and, and give it up. You need to get up out of bed and say, I'm a man of purpose. I'm a woman of purpose. I've got destiny. You need to declare what God said over you. Well, I don't know, Ryan. Well, let me tell you a great place to find it right here in the Bible. Open up this word. Find what God says and declare what God said. There's power in your mouth. The kingdom of God is voice activated. Number two, put on the garment of praise. What does that mean? It means to wildly, exuberantly lift God up. Scream and make your neighbors nervous. Just shout unto God. Well, how long do I do it? Do it until you feel a breakthrough. And then number three, meditate on the word of God. Ponder it. Chew on it. God doesn't want you to live under a mind attack. You've got the authority to break it. Put these tools to work and break free. Thank you.